Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel, Learn Math with Sayyad Ali. Here we have two word problems. Um, first question is, Jason poured some water in the container whose diameter is 14 centimeter and height is 17 centimeter. Water level reaches to 12 centimeter. How much water did Jason pour? So there is a cylinder whose height is given 17 centimeter 17 centimeter and its diameter is also given which is 14 centimeter so if diameter is given you can find out the radius which is half so 7 centimeter here in this question when Jason poured the water it reaches to the level of 12 so it is here so we don't have to use this time 17 centimeter but we have to use this level which is 12 centimeter right so this is my water level to 12 so formula remains same volume of a cylinder is equals to pi r square h and volume is equals to 3.14 r square which is 7 square times h h we will use 12 not 17 because jason poured the water and water level reaches to 12 centimeter so 3.14 times 49 times 12 and that comes out as 1846 centimeter cube and we can say that how much water jason poured jason poured 1.85 liters my answer for the second part we can read the question one cup hold 440 milliliter of water how many cups are needed to fill a cylinder of diameter 16 and height is 0 0.2 meter here we can see that we have to find out the capacity of this cylinder but here we have to do one thing first which is conversion of 2 meters into centimeters so my height is given height is 0.2 meter which is 20 centimeter so you have to change the meters into centimeters diameter is given which is 16 centimeter so I can find out the radius which is 8 centimeter right Formula remains same, volume of a cylinder is equals to pi r square times h. So we have to see that what one cup hold 440 milliliter of water. How many cups are needed to fill the cylinder whose diameter is this and height is this. So we have to see what the capacity of the cylinder is. Then we will divide 440, that capacity by 440 milliliter to get how many cups are needed, right? How many, one cup hold 440 milliliter of water, how many cups are needed to fill the cylinder, to fill the cylinder, right? So we have to find out the volume of this cylinder first, 3.14 times R square, which is 8 square times H, which is 20. So V is equals to, if we calculate this all together, we say 3.14 times 8 times 8 is 64 times 20. And this brings to me, 4019 centimeter cube and in terms of liter I can say 4 liter so one cup that is holding 440 milliliter so that means how much milliliter how many milliliters are these these are 4000 right 4000 milliliter one liter is 1000 milliliter so I have to divide I have to see how many cup can fill this with the uh, with the capacity of 440 milliliter right so you can do either way you can put what for 40 milliliter equals to in terms of liters or you can do what four liters equals to into the milliliters so milliliters is 4000 milliliters right so this is 4000 milliliters so 4000 milliliters divided by 440 milliliters will give you how many cups how many cups are required if each cup holding only 
how many cups are required, right? So cups requirement, you can say cups requirement is 4000 divided by 440, right? So which is equals to nine, nine cups. I can write here nine cups is required, right? Cups required. Cups required to fill 4000 milliliter cylinder. Right? So this is our answer. Sometimes another question is asked on the uh, on the same basis where we learn the cylinder and the capacity of the cylinder. And the question is asked like this. I poured 3,500 milliliters into a container. So I will write the third question here. I poured 3,500 milliliter into a container. whose diameter is 16 cm and height is 20 cm. What is its water level? What is its water level? So I have to check that what level is it, right? If I poured 3,500 milliliter, so here again, the situation is read the question carefully and see there are three variables in our formula, which is V is equals to pi R square H. V is equals to pi R square H. Three variables, right? So what we are saying, the uh, question is saying that 3,500 milliliter is poured into a cylinder whose radius is given, which is 8. Diameter is 16, so radius is 8, times H, what, what water level is. So we don't use this H. H is given for the full capacity of the cylinder. But we are concerned only when 3,500 milliliter is being poured. So what is the level of the cylinder? What is the level of the cylinder? So H we have to find out. 3,500 divided by 3.14 and 64 this will be our h and therefore h is equals to if i solve this all numbers so my h will be equals to 3500 divided by 3.14 value of pi and then divided by 64 right so we will get 17.4 so this will be the height or water level in the cylinder if I pour. So you have to read the question carefully. Sometimes this question, which is the JSON, the question number one, that can be asked like this, that what remaining volume is required to fill the cylinder? What is the remaining volume required to fill up the cylinder, right? So what you do, what you need to do, if it is this, instead of how much water did JSON filled up, Okay, Jason filled, filled up like 1.85 liter, but what more is required to fill up the cylinder, right? What is the more requirement? So we need to know the total capacity of this cylinder, right? So total capacity of cylinder in question A, in question one. What is the total capacity of the cylinder in question one. So we will say capacity is P is equals to pi R square H. So we will say we will be using R square which is 7 square times H which is 17. So volume is equals to so we are using 7 and 17 right 7 and 17. So it comes out as 2615.6 centimeter cube which is in turn equals to 2.62 liter. So total capacity of the cylinder in question one is 2.62 capacity. Jason filled up and the level becomes 12 cm. 
So he filled up 1.85 liter. What more water is required? Right? What more? How many liters more is required to fill up the tank? So how many liters more? 2.62 minus 1.85. So if we subtract these two numbers, we will be having what is more requirement to fill up the cylinder. So 2.62 minus 1.85, which comes out as 0.77. So 0.77 liter more required to fill up the tank completely. Right. So you have to see that means if question can be asked in any way, but you have need to understand that what is being asked. So here in this part B, it is asked that what is the more water quantity in liter can be filled in to fill up the jar or cylinder completely, right? So in this way, there are so many word problems based on the same formula. You have to read the question carefully and then you have to see the data and plug in the data to get the required answer. Hope you like the video, subscribe my channel, press the bell icon button. So thank you for watching.